Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Muhammad Hamza from Fun with Tips. Today I'm going to talk about for loop, the third type of looping structure. For loop execute one or more statement for a specific specified number of time. This loop is also called as counter control loop. It is the most flexible loop. That is why it is the most frequently used loop by the programmers as here is the syntax of for loop for is a keyword and in between these two braces these two small braces initialization condition and increment decrements are written and in the between these two curly braces statements or number of statements are written so what is initialization it specifies the string value of a counter variable. One or many variables can be initialized in this part. Second one condition as the conditions used in the other loops same, same is here the condition is given as a rational expression the statement is executed only if the given condition is true if the condition is false the statement is never executed. Now this increment and decrement this part is the of loop specified the change in counter variable after each execution of loop. To change many variables, each variable must be separate by comma. And these statements, statements is the instruction that is executed when the condition is true. And this is also called as loop body. Now the flowchart, how actually the for loops works. The number of iteration depends upon the initialization. Here initiali is the initialization condition and increment decrement part. The initialization part execute once only once when the control enters the loop. When the control enters the loop, this will be executed the initialization. After initialization, the given condition is evaluated. Condition is evaluated if the condition is true. The controls enter into the loop body and execute all the statement in it. Then the increment and decrement part of of part the program the uh, increment and decrement part is executed. That change the value of counter variable. The control again move to the condition part. This process continues while the condition remains true. The loop terminate when the condition becomes false. So that was the flowchart of for loop. Now let us move towards the compiler. As, the, as that program was our previous program in do while loop. Which uh, write a program that display back counting from 10 to 1. Now if we change this program using y for loop for loop from 1 to 10 now what will be now just change this thing we initialize a variable named c of integer type now we will use for loop for according to the syntax the first one is to initialize the variable c equals to 1 and the second part was condition c is less than or equal to 10 and the third part is the increment or decrement operator we will simply use c++ means c plus 1 now the body of for loop in this we have to display the number and c out n and l for next line and l if we don't use this it will be okay compile There is an error. What is it? Function int main. 
and is not declared in the scope oh we have to write c over here as variable is declared as c not n now it is compiled run 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now if we change it from 10 to 1 10 to 1 using for loop so we simply here we will change the condition and initialization from 10 to 1 and c is less than greater than or equal to compile oh that is infinite loop open uh, here is the condition minus minus c minus minus means c minus 1 now it is compiled 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so that was our previous program we changed it into for loop using for loop how we can display the back counting and simple counting from 10 to 1 and 1 to 10 now the second one program write a program that inputs table number and length of table and then display the table using for loop so first of all we will declare some variables int and for table we have to declare tab we tab and the second len and third c now what are these variables for table is the tab is the table number which we have to display means uh, if we have to display the table of 2 that variable is for that which we have to enter by user and len is the length of the table like uh, the table of 2 up to 20 up to 10 like to 10s are 20 etc and c is the counter is the variable which controls that now get it get the table from the user enter the table number scene tab see out now we will get the length of table from the user enter the table the length scene length now here comes the for loop in which the condition and initialization everything will be applied now the first part of for loop is to initialize the variable here we declare the variable c as a previous program here first we have to initialize it c is equals to 1 here is the initialization the second point is to condition c is less than or equals to len which is the length and now c plus plus the increment operator in between this we will display it c out cause it is one statement only so we don't have to write curly braces for the for loop tab static the proper proper table will be displayed static c and then comma uh, equal to and then tab static c and l so actually what this statement will do 
in the display of the result tab is the tab table number for example i enter here 2 and for, for up to 10 the length is up to 10 so what it will do actually see is this uh, as uh, i initialize it here to 1 and up to length 10 uh, let us first compile it then we will discuss run compile now enter the table number 2 and length is 10 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 so what actually here is done as we initialize c equals to 1 which is a counter loop variable here we declare here we get the number 2 of the table and up to length 10 now what this loop actually do table is 2 2 more static c that will properly displayed as we see here 2 static 1 the first value the tab has 2 the tab has to multiply by c c have the value here 1 and now the second now this will display 2 ones are 2 here it is displayed now it will come to the increment operator c++ plus plus. the previous value of c have 1 now c 1 plus 1 equals to 2 now c have a new value 2 the tab has same value 2 and c have now value 2 2 twos are 4 here it is displayed by this tab static c which means 2 multiply by 2 which is equals to 4 now again the increment operator now the, c, the previous value of c have uh, 2 now c 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3 now c have a new value 3 but tab have the previous uh, first value of table 2 because here we do no, don't apply the for uh, the counter that's why 2 multiply by 3 2 static 3 here it will display 2 3s are 6 2 star 2 multiply by 3 is equals to 6 again increment operator 3 plus 1 4 and tab 2 multiply by 4 equals to 8 this loop will continuously goes till up to when the condition comes false like uh, the last one is 2 and the c have value 10 2 multiply by 10 equals to 20 now the c have value 10 now when the increment operator will run 10 plus 1 which is equals to 11 now the c have a new value but here the condition is false c is less than or equal to len means the length of now c have value 11 which is less than or equal to 10 len we put here 10 so that's why the condition will be false and the program will be terminated and this is the whole program whole table of 2 we can write here anything like uh, how much you would want like the table of 11 up to length 77 here is the whole table of 11 up to 77 at the last 11 multiplied by 77 is 847 so that was the for loop please guys must subscribe our channel fun with tips see you soon in the next video tutorial